Question one, Alyssa receives a salary of 85,640. We're gonna calculate how much she receives each fortnight. There are 26 fortnights in a year and a salary is an, a yearly income. So to find out how much she is paid per fortnight, we're going to take the total salary and we're gonna divide that by 26 to find for each fortnight. So on our calculator, we're going to do 85,640 divided by 26, and we get 3293, and some decimal places, which uh, we can see if we round it off correctly. So to round it off correctly, we're going to look at the nearest cent. So here's the cent. The number after that is greater than five, so we're gonna round that four up and it will become 85 cents, so the answer is B. In question two, Christopher receives a normal hourly rate of $22.60 per hour. What is his pay when he works eight hours at a normal rate and three hours at time and a half? Okay, so his pay is going to be eight hours of his rate, normal rate, plus three hours at time and a half. So three hours at that rate times the factor of 1.5 for the overtime. And again, put that onto our calculator. So we've got eight times 22.60 plus three times 22.6 times 1.5. And we get $282.50. So the answer is C. For number three, we have a 38 hour week and $26 per hour, receiving 17.5% of four weeks normal pay as holiday loading. We were asked what is Raina's holiday loading, not her holiday pay. Holiday pay would be the four weeks of normal pay plus the loading. So to calculate the loading, we need to find out her four weeks normal pay so her normal pay is 38 times $26 per hour, so 38 hours, $26 per hour, and we need four weeks worth. But we need 17.5% of that amount as the holiday loading, so on our calculator, it'd be 0 0.175 times these numbers. And let's calculate that. And we get $691.60, which we can see is B. For question four, Taylor earns a weekly retainer of $425 plus commission of 8% on sales. We are asked for her weekly earnings when she made sales of $8,620. So uh, for a commission, the retainer is a fixed amount. Uh, that does not depend on the sales, so she receives that. Plus she receives a commission, so 8% becomes 0 0.08 of, so times the sales, and we enter that on a calculator. And we get $1,114 and 60 cents, which we can see is D. Question five, Ahmet is a carpet layer and charges $37.50 per square meter. We're finding out how much he earns for laying carpet in a room of nine square meters in size. So this is piecework because he's earning per amount of work. So his earnings will be nine because there's nine square meters and thirty seven dollars for each of those thirty seven dollars fifty for each of those square meters and on a calculator we get that, that equals three hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty cents uh, in this question isabel earns a royalty uh, so a percentage on sales so very much like commission there were $24,520 in net sales in the last year. What is Isabel's royalty payment? 
So her payment, there's no retain or anything like commission. It's just the percentage in sales. So 18% as a decimal to put in our calculator is 0 0.18 times the, the total sales. And on our calculator, we find that that is equal to $4,413.60, which is A. Uh, in question 7, Angus's net pay is $68,806. There are one, two, three deductions listed. We're asked to find what is his gross pay. Gross is before deductions. Net is after deductions. This is our take home pay. So that means that the deductions have already been taken out. So to find the gross pay, we need to take the $68,806 and add the deductions back in. And again, a calculator will give us the answer of 95,974 dollars which is D. Remember these questions that these other answers are distractors they're not just random numbers so you get one of these answers by incorrectly calculating uh, the net pay here by subtracting the deductions. Uh, that's the wrong way around in this question because we've been asked for the gross pay given the net pay. Finally, Adam has the following bills, his total amount for his budget. So we need to find for the year, so we need to convert all these amounts to a yearly amount. We have $250 per quarter. There are four quarters in a year, so we need four of those. $70 for phone. We need 12 of those because it's per month. The rates are already per year, 1200 and the rent is 300 per week. So we need to add all that up. And we get a total amount of $18,640.